Hi there, hope you're all doing well. I am finally getting my Soy and Starhost veteran painted this week. I've had this mini on myself since it was first released back in July. I've just not been able to decide on a scheme I want to go with, but I've decided I'm just going to go for it now and see what happens. I black and white Zenithal Prime the mini and I get started using AK Interactive's Dark Green for all of these skins. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. You can also join Discord using the link in the description where you can share anything you have been working on. Next up, I tint all of that skin using Necrosis Green Wash. This gives the green a bit of a yellow tint to it. To start bringing up these scales, I used olive green just to make them pop as well as some of the raised areas of the skin. Finishing off the skin, I just touched up some of those scales with golden olive.
now to get the armor panel started using pale gray as the base coat. This part did take a while, so I cut it short in the video. There's nothing really special going on here. I'm just giving a base layer over all of the armor, anything that's not skin, essentially. Adding some depth and shadow to the armor, I give it a wash with Oblivion Black Wash. With the wash now dry and the armor way too dark for what I want, I grabbed silver grey and started painting up all of those panels again, leaving that darker tone in the recesses just to help emphasize the panels. While doing this, I also didn't stress too much about painting all the way to the edge of those panels as leaving that bit on the edge gives it a more war-torn look.
The second armor color is going to be gold, but to get a nice rich gold, I base coat all of these parts with British khaki first. For the base I went for a quick once over using burnt umber. Before getting the gold done, I grabbed bloody red and just added in a few extra details to make them pop. With the khaki now dry, I came back in with glorious gold just to make all of those spikes and details sparkle that bit. The base needed some texture, so I painted on sandy desert texture paste.
red felt a little bit flat on its own. To bring that up, I grabbed a quick highlight using Fanatic Orange. Finishing off the mini, I wash all of the gold and the red parts with archaic sepia wash. And that will be it for the Starhost Veteran. I wasn't sure about the armor while I was painting it, but now I can see the entire thing finished. I do like it. All those bold outlines on the panels really do help make this mini look like it's seen a lot of battle wearing this armor. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. You can also join Discord using the link in the description where you can share anything you have been working on. As always, there'll be photos of this mini on my Instagram page. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Most importantly though, be kind to each other.